Princess Meghan Markle and Princess Diana. Would royals have clashed? Royal critics give insight. Princess Diana died on August 31st, 1997, following a car crash in Paris, France. She left her two young sons, Prince Harry, 12, and Prince William, 15, and both made sure their mother lived on in their futures, using her various jewellery to propose to their now wives. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wed in May of 2018, and now have a three-month-old son, Archie Harrison. But what would Princess Diana have made of Meghan? Would the two royals have clashed? According to Lady Colin Campbell, Princess Diana would not be impressed with Meghan. Lady Colin, 69, has published three books on the royals and told Woman magazine Diane would be appalled. She had enough nose to know when to put on a show. She was very aware of how important it was to be gracious, while Meghan and Harry, to an extent, trot out the charm when it suits them, but otherwise are greatless, she says. She also adds, her behavior shows a lack of understanding and appreciation of what being a royal is. I'm not sure who she thinks she is by behaving this way. This is not the first time Lady Colin has spoken out against the Duchess. She previously critiqued Meghan for acting like an actress and not a royal on Good Morning Britain earlier this week. She said, I have an awful feeling that Meghan needs to understand things she doesn't yet understand. Like there's a massive difference between being a celebrity hustling your way from the bottom to the top. And she was a very proud hustler. She used to use, use the word hustle for herself and her first husband very proudly. You don't hustle. The values, the embodiment is completely different, she says. Lorian Kelly believes Diana would have told her son and Meghan to act differently when it came to their young son, Archie, especially when it came to their choice of, of a private christening. Writing in The Sun, Mrs. Kelly said, Diana, who, who knew all about public perception and how to deal with the media, would have advised them to counteract the criticism by making sure that Archie's christening was an event the whole country could enjoy. There would have been no question of the names of godparents being kept secret or photos of such a big occasion only being released on Harry and Meghan's carefully controlled Instagram account. Diana would have known that images of a cute baby and his dotting parents with guests all done up to the nines would take the heat of the negative stories surrounding the Frogmore building work. However, former Royal Protection Officer Ken Wolf believes Diana would have liked Meghan. He told the Daily Mail, Diana would have liked that her son had married an American divorcee, a woman of mixed heritage. I can see Diana putting two fingers up to the monarchy on the strength of that one, saying, this is fantastic, this is the future of this family, this is the way it has to be. Mr. Wolf also said the fact that Meghan is brilliant in dealing with the media and talking to people with sincerity in her voice, and that would have impressed Diana. Prince Harry also believed his mother would have liked Meghan, even going as far to say the pair would have been best friends. Speaking in a BBC interview after the news of his engagement to Meghan in 2017, Harry said his mother and Meghan would be thick as thieves without question. He said, I think she would be over the moon, jumping up and down, so excited for me. But then, as I said, she would have probably been best friends with Meghan. That is all for today's episode. If you like, leave a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.